We're at 2019 GLIAC Football Media Day. Joining us today, left, right, Nate Couturier, head coach Sparky McEwen and DeAndre Ford. Uh, Nate, we'll start with you. Uh, how exciting is it to have a football media day and be part of the GLIAC? Oh, this is a, this is a real big deal. Um, obviously, only two athletes uh, from each school here, so it's, it's a big blessing, I think, to be here. Take a look back at your career. You were here at the very beginning of the program, and now you're in your fourth and final year. Uh, what has it meant to be part of this program? It's meant a lot. Um, it's, it's changed me into the person I am today. Um, like you said, well, I guess I'm in my fifth year now. Um, but like the first year we came, no games. Second year here, we weren't even a, in a conference. Then we we're two years of the probationary period in the GLIAC. And then here we are, and now we can finally make the playoffs. So this is a, a huge year for us. You know, how gratifying was it to taste success last year and get those wins that you did early on in the season and, and really compete throughout the year? Uh, very, very satisfying. Um, obviously, we didn't finish the way we wanted to, so hopefully this year uh, we're going we're gonna to build upon that. You know, Coach Fear, entering your third year, we just talked about the growth this program has had. What's the next step for you guys? Well, you know, something that Nate left out, we were talking about on the ride over from Grand Rapids, uh, Nate didn't even have locker rooms, you know, when he first started out here. So it goes to tell you that the growth, we've come so far. And then even for this season, you know, uh, coming from NAIA, to where we are now, um, man, it's, it's, it's uh, gratifying to know that the boys are working hard. Uh, we know we have a lot of work to do. Uh, when you play traditional powers in these teams with a rich history, uh, our guys, we have mad respect for our opponents. And so we know that we've got an uphill climb. It's a stiff challenge, uh, but we're up for it. You know, they worked hard, so we're hoping that uh, it pays its dividends. You know, what's changed in the GLIAC over the years? You've been part of this conference for a long time. Well, you know, the biggest thing, the, the largest thing that's changed, you know, with this uh, conference is the fact that across the landscape, anywhere you travel across the country, everyone knows about the GLIAC. It's a tough brand of football. Uh, it's a, a great area. Um, when you think about GLIAC, you think about some of the national champions, and you think about, uh, you know, past teams that had something to do with the eventual national champion, a GLIAC team is always right there, you know. So that alone, the landscape has changed. The depth, the talent has changed tremendously. Uh, going back to the years when I played here in the GLIAC in the mid-80s, uh, you know, you just seen a, a wealth of talent now change. Where a lot of these kids now playing in the GLIAC are Division One type student athletes. So uh, it's come a long ways. You know, with the home or the season opener, September the 14th, what are some of the things that you guys have to really work on here over the next month? Well, if you think about it, that's going to be our first home game, and it's going to be also our homecoming. So. Uh, it's going to be a large day for us. It's going to be huge. Uh, we got a long time to go before that first game because we have a bye. The first thing that comes to mind is camaraderie. Uh, our kids have to begin to understand what a cohesive group looks like. Um, you know, finding leaders. You know, within uh, both sides of the ball, uh, guys understanding that. You know, it's not about one individual. It's about the team. And if our guys understand that, the quicker we come together as a team, the more success we'll have in the end. And DeAndre, for you, you know, had a great season opener last year with four touchdowns and then kind of lost to the, the rest of the season with injury. How itching are you to get back on the football field? I'm very, I'm very excited. Um, I feel like this is going to be a big year for us on offense. And, you know, this all season has been very, you know, stressful for me, you know, mm -hmm. being able to like, I do rehab and all the surgeries and, and different things like that. And I'm finally getting closer to camp, you know, I'm getting excited. My juices are pumped a little bit. Getting Coach Spark juice pump a little bit. So, you know, I'm excited about this year. I'm excited about this team. Our offense is going to be very dynamic. Our defense mm -hmm. is going to be one of the top defenses in the country. So when you have all those um, all those parts together, you know, we're going to, that makes an unstoppable football team. But like Coach said, I, that he hit on, you know, we had to have that leadership. We had to have those guys there put in place um, to accomplish the goals that we got set for ourselves. I know it's a negative thing to miss the whole year, but what positives did you take out of sitting out? Oh, I got to see every team play, mm -hmm. and that's the biggest thing for me because I got to see, you know, Grand Valley play. I got to see Ferris play. I got to see Ashland play, you know, the big-time teams as well as uh, Wayne State um, and those guys like that. So being able to get um, chemistry of um, what they look like, look at their defenses, looking at their schemes, looking at their tendencies, looking mm -hmm. at their coverages, even looking at their weaknesses, you know. So coming into this year, I got an idea of what I'm going against. What are some goals that you have for yourself and for this team this year? to be the best leader I can be, you know, and, and put this team in a great situation to win every football game. You know, that's the biggest thing for me, and being a role model and being a leader for this football team. Most of all, winning that national championship, but it starts with a game at a time. we got to take it a game at a time. 
and then, you know, let it move from there, let it work from there. You know, how's the mindset knowing that if you guys have a really good season, you can make the NCAA tournament this year, which we haven't been able to in the last two years? It's exciting. You know, it gives the guys an extra push, you know, extra gear to keep working and keep getting better and things like that. You know, being able to, you know, play past, you know, your uh, your season is, is big. It's huge, you know, and not only that, you get to play, you know, in my home state of Texas, the best state. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I'm excited about that. You know, getting those guys pumped about, you know, being able to qualify for playoffs, which is a big deal for us and a big deal for me. And so I'm excited about the opportunity. All right. Thanks, guys.